you're either going to be shocked or you will totally agree. There's going to be no in between. Why don't, like, what the hell? It's a person. It's just a Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> the Dorito caster. I really like the granny caster. Why can I just say? I don't know if this is going to be bleeped. But why does it look like that guitar works in the night? Hello and welcome back to yet another tier list. Again with Glenn. Hello. And uh, this one, Glenn, this is different. Because this is ugly guitars. And we've we've looked at ugly guitars before. Uh, we're, we're pros at looking at ugly guitars, but sometimes we disagree. Sometimes I think something is but ugly and he thinks it's beautiful and vice versa. And we argue about that. So this time we're just looking at ugly guitars. Guitars that I don't think either of us would, would agree on. And when I put this compilation together, normally I would like have a feeling of where I'd rank them. I don't. I'm going in blind here oh, yeah. on this one. And feel free to play along with us, by the way. We're going to go straight into it. S at the top, that's the ugliest guitars. F at the bottom are kind of... I mean, nothing... Not, if I had to play it. Yeah, nothing looks good here, but if I had to. So let's just jump straight in with this absolute beauty. This is the Dean Doyle guitar. The wine bottle opener. I thought that's more of um, if Batman played, that he'd use that. Yeah. It's always difficult with the first guitar on, on a tier list. I have a good feeling that they're going to get a whole lot worse. So I'm going to say... I'm I'm actually... I'm actually going to put that in F. You're putting that in F? Yeah. You would play that if you had to. I don't think it's going to be as awful as the rest. I think there's going to be a couple of... Okay, well, we can restructure. Guitars. We, we can restructure. Where would you put it? I don't want to spoil anything. So you're going to fix the tier again at the end of this... We might have to. Let's jump in with the Rick Tune. Now this guitar, by the way, that, that guitar, the previous guitar that we just looked at was 10 grand. Um, this guitar is also very expensive. This is a Rick Tune. I don't even know the model name. Am I allowed to say what I'm thinking? I mean, you're fully allowed to say what you're thinking of. Do you know what I'm thinking? Uh, no, I don't. I think you're going to have to bleep this one out because it looks like an Ormsby. What? Well, it doesn't look like an Ormsby. It reminds me of an Ormsby. Somebody in the comments knows what I'm talking You're... about. Somebody does. And if, if you say you don't, it's a lie. I'm not saying it looks like one. It reminds me of an Ormsby. Glenn, that is, that is just a chunk of wood that a neck was bolted to. Yes. <sighs> okay, we're already disagreeing. All right, where, where would you put this, Glenn? Hmm. See, what I'm looking at is, how do you sit down with that? Yeah, there's going to be a little angle on it. You can sit down in like the classical position, but if you're doing that, then the bridge is hitting oh, like, that's true. the other leg. Oh, going to my head, I'm going to say E. Like, I can actually see the coolness in it. You're so wrong. Okay. I was not anticipating some disagreement on that one. Uh, let's let's go to one that we might actually have some disagreement on. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Dan Electro... <laughs> Longhorn, primarily used on bass actually, but this is the guitar version. I think it looks like a teapot. I was gonna say, do you press the switch and then steam comes out of it? Okay, well, we're not disagreeing, okay. Oh, what's up with the pick guard? It's so that you, you know, you don't damage your beautiful instrument. Oh, that's true. I don't think it's got anything going for it. <laughs> this could be a hot take. Oh. I don't think it's awful and I don't think it's amazing. I think it's just a guitar. I would actually put this in C. I think it's just... Okay, you're, 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 you're ranking it. You're saying that that's uglier than F, by the way. Oh, that's true. I'm going to rejig F. First rejig. Where's F gone? Uh, put F in C. And then put the thumbs up guy in F. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> it is two thumbs up. <laughs> it gets two thumbs down from me, but okay. <laughs> We've looked at some abstract guitars so far. How about a guitar from a company that, by the way, talks about how ergonomic their builds are. Uh, this is Daisy Rock Butterfly. Mm hmm. Oh, you know what? I was going to say I can't say one good thing about this guitar. I can. It looks like something that Paul Stanley would play. <laughs> it actually does. Avatar Paul Stanley or, or real Paul Stanley? Fall or Paul? You know what? I'd actually love to play that live. I think that'd be hilarious. I'm going to put it in C. It's C or D, I think. I don't think it's too horrendous, but it is horrendous. Right. I will swap D and E, and Thumbs Up can stay where he is. This is already a divisive tier list. Now, this next guitar, Glenn, I'm going to tell you the name, okay? Okay. And you're going to tell me, you know, it, it's got a cool name. I This is the Minerick Inferno. Now, what do you think of when you think Inferno? 
Fire. Fire. Well, you'd be right, Glenn. It just unfortunately should be set on fire. Hmm. You do you do you your face your face indicated something else. Do you like that? I love that. No. Yes. I love I love everything about that. <laughs> I swear on my life, I love it. It's even the kiss colors. It's the character colors. I actually love that. Now, actually, now that I think of it, you're that's... doing so much fundraising for for blind dogs at the moment, Glenn. <laughs> so much. Well, that's a second thumbs up guitar. If you have a look, <laughs> the two horns. <laughs> I really like that. You really like that. I swear to God, I really like that. Oh my god! I, I think it's the binding that really does it, and the, <laughs> it's... the binding. <laughs> it's, a, it's so hard to say I like this on a straight face, but I do, and I know I'm wrong, but I love it. You'd play that. You'd say, yeah, I want that. I would play that. I think that's cool. I know I'm wrong, and I know I'm crazy. Everybody's gonna be like, Glenn is crazy. I know I am. I like that. And I'm scared to say I love that, so I'll stick with I like that, but it's more than I like that. At least the silhouette looks decent. Right, like when it's small. Like we found the first one that actually looks like a guitar. I, I, that's fair, okay? I, I can agree with that. There's something, I know this might be crazy, but there's something a bit PRS-y about it. Oh, there's a PRS on this list, Glenn. Just you wait. Ooh, okay. This next one, the image I'm going to show you is a copy of it because it's the best looking copy I could, I could get. But It's it, the best looking picture of a bad guitar. <laughs> yeah. Because these came out in the 80s when Kramer decided that they'd go a little bit futuristic. This is the Kramer Enterprise. Oh, God. Now, I, I'm going to say, I don't think that looks all that bad, except for the bit that makes the headstock and the body join. It looks like it was pouring and then it froze. <laughs> yeah. And also, Metallica called, they want their M back. There's a lot to unpack there. Like, this is Metallica. This is Vinnie Vincent. This is... I just... I could get behind it if it... If if the bottom horn was just a horn and not just a long thing. Like, did they see the monkey grip and go, yeah, we can do something better? I, I have to... I'd say that's like an A when it comes to ugly, to be honest. It's very ugly. Yeah, I'd agree with A. And I'd also be very concerned because that bit of wood looks really thin too so you're gonna you're gonna break the bit of guitar well you should never have to touch that <laughs> it's the bit of your guitar that you don't want but you should still be concerned that you might break it ah uh, what's right with that guitar very little i don't like that well luckily glenn and you know quite well that like some kid got stuck in that little gap like some kid it's <laughs> like when they used to the put the, the heads in the banisters i think patrick star needs to move them which is patrick star glenn <laughs> the stinger looking one like he's a lot worse than the gold one okay eyes. so let's put him in a and then this guy b yeah okay uh now speaking of which kramer in the 80s decided to go full futuristic and that was one of their guitars that was futuristic but they also had another one the kramer triaxis what the hell is that? That looks like in the video games when, like, you have to, like... It looks like a space invader. <laughs> you have the controller on the headstock as well. Look at the string break. Look at the string angle on the Ooh. headstock. That is a spider web. It's got... D -d 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 it's angled. It looks like a PlayStation controller. Yeah, it looks like a space invader. Why are we placing this on a scale of ugly to not ugly? It really looks like I'm just trying to fill the gaps of each... Each, um... Thing. Don't worry, there's more guitars. I'm gonna put it in C. Okay. So it's less... I'd, I'd agree that it's less ugly than the other Kramer. Luckily, there's three Kramers on this list. What's the other Kramer? The uh, the one above it. Yeah. It might look like Mr. Krabs' Space Invader, but it doesn't have... It's it's not got this big, massive bit of wood at the top, and it's not like a Batman dagger either. So I can, I can understand. Now, guitar design in the 80s. A lot of these guitars came from the 80s. Uh, this is another one. 1984's Beauty. The PV Razor. <laughs> I like how they at the bottom they said let's design a guitar and then just nah <laughs> I suppose the running question is how can you sit down with that because now yeah now the, you have to angle it down. now it's diving to, yeah. yeah it's a triangle but with a, this little point at the at the bottom it's just a Dorito <laughs> the, the Dorito caster where should we place the Dorito it does oh. look more like a guitar than some of the others yeah it's an ugly guitar that's not saying much though <laughs> no where would you put it I'd put it in probably E like it's doable yeah okay what is this tier list 
This is ugly guitars, Glenn. Now, this next one, controversial. Okay. The Steinberger. I was going to say, yeah. Another 80s masterpiece. You see, the thing, the thing about it is, I actually think this is probably one of the best looking on the list, primarily just because you can't mess up a rectangle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a, it's just a box with some pickups and a bridge. Yeah. Okay. Um I'd I'd put it in F. Yeah, I agree with that. I was going to say either E or F, but yeah, I suppose if you're going to play something. And hey, at least Paul Stanley played them in the 80s. And DVH. So, oh, that's right. All right, Glenn, this this next guitar. Um this might take the cake. Okay? And I want you to close your eyes because I'm 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 going to go to the the product page. Okay. Right, and I'm I'm gonna read out the the pros, the selling points. And by the way, I am going to actually censor this guitar for the tier list. You will understand in a second. All right, this will set you back eight hundred quid. Okay. Oh God. Now, you can only get it from China, from like a Chibson factory. I don't think you should get it from anywhere, to be honest. But okay. Product sell points. Professional performance. It has professional manufacturing, stable performance, and high reliability. Special. This special design can make you look unique and novel. <laughs> Alright, Glenn. You will be the only one that buys this. Oh, uh, can I look? <laughs> yeah, take a look. I've censored this. So that is two hmm. two anime girls that look uh, very young, uh, t- uncomfortably so, that I've censored it. They're in, like, bikinis. And the entire guitar body is 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 them. I I put this in S for this guitar ever. Yeah, I think this isn't fun. We're we're too agreeable today. <laughs> now this is very yes. That's a, that's very much a. Yeah, I would never be seen playing that. You no, know, no, no. If that was just like black or whatever, the shape is horrible. Oh, the the shape is like. Hang on, hang on. Let me let me pull up the, the the back of the guitar. Look at that. Look at the back of the guitar. It looks like a map. <laughs> what continent is that? Yeah, like, <laughs> what a, the hell is the headstock? Look at the headstock. Is that Mickey Mouse? It's 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 got cat ears. Oh, it looks like a bear. It's like <laughs> what? The, no, come on. Eight hundred euro. Yeah, that is that is on AliExpress at that. Yeah. Okay. Um, this next guitar was built for a superstar, Glenn. I want Ooh. you to guess who do you think it was built for? This is a PRS. Patrick Starr. <laughs> it's truly the Patrick Starr. <gasps> is it? Is that Vinnie Vincent? No. 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 You'd swear it is, though. Um, Do you think Vinnie Vincent is a superstar? Why do, can I just say? I don't know if this is going to be bleeped. But why does it look like that guitar works in the night? <laughs> <laughs> why? <laughs> You're going to put, like, some, some fishnet stockings on the... Yes. On the... <laughs> like, you don't... Oh. Hmm. This guitar was built, a PRS guitar that was supposedly built for Lady Gaga. She never used it. Like, that guitar could be saved with just, like, a, a couple, like, four saw cuts. And you'd have a nice looking guitar. What? Like, I, like, what? Like, it started off fine. Yeah. Then they added on to it. Mm-hmm. Why? I don't know. Why don't, like, what the hell? It's a person. It's probably as, as big as a person. Um. So where would you place it? This is going to be another hot take. Okay. Not about placing it. I, I think that's disgusting. But I will say, I think there's a cool element to someone like Lady Gaga playing it. I think she could make it work. Yeah, but she could make like the butterfly or the Kramer exactly. or, or, or the... That's true. The Savile Caster. Does she even play guitar? I, no, I don't think so. Okay. But she can make them all the work. The Savile Caster. <laughs> <laughs> S. 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 I would have placed it an A, but... Why is it an X? Because X normally means no. <laughs> yeah. All right, now this is this is this will be interesting to see your take on. Oh, I know this guitar. You do know this guitar. This is the Paul Stanley star that looks like it was drawn by a four-year-old. Supposedly, that... I was going to say smells bad. Maybe it does smell bad. That supposedly sounds god-awful. He never used it live. He used it in um, one... Like TV show appearance where there were um, oh lip syncing for a change. No, it was in like the eighties when you had to pipe in the music. Um, I actually think that's really cool. Do you? Not just because there's a kiss connection. I like stars. I think stars are cool. I don't like the offset that it is. By the way, if you sit down with it, it's stabbing you in the chest. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, and that's another guy to tell in the taxi. 
He has his leg out. He wants that taxi and he's getting it. I'd play that. Like, I have to give that an F. I'd play it. And I know people are going to be like, oh, he's just biased. But you are. I'd put it in E because it's it's not worse than, like, the PV Raptor or Razor or whatever. Yeah. Um, And I think Daisy Rock make a star as well. Hey, there's two Paul guitars in, a, in F. Stop fanboying. Speaking of fanboying, right? You're a Gibson fanboy. Oh, no. I know this one. The Gibson Modern. You said before that it looked good. I strongly disagree. This, it's 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 made out of, like, offcuts. Come on. The coffee table caster. Hmm. E. And I'm I'm really being fair. Because I could have gone F. So I'm trying to be... I'm trying to tone down the Glen. Well, okay. Gibson fanboy. Yeah, baby! <laughs> Isn't that the Samurai guitar one? Yeah, your bestie. My bestie. Here's what, what I'm thinking. If I never knew the Flying V, I would think that's horrible. But something about it is like, yeah, but it's a Flying V. Glen, it's an arrow. It is a this way. <laughs> I'm actually struggling. What do we have in like the middle kind of... Right, it's better than Space Invaders. It's better than Space Invaders and it's better than the Ormsby. It's not an Ormsby, Glenn. It's... Do you know what? I'm going to be fair. I'm going to put it in D. It's the same as the Ormsby. It's not an Ormsby! <laughs> <laughs> but hang on. Now that means it's better than the Butterfly. No, uh, the no, it means it's uglier than the Butterfly. Yeah, sorry. That's what I mean. I don't want to do that. I want to do the opposite. The butterfly is more, so... much more horrible I put the butterfly and the Dorito in D. All right. And I put Yeah Baby in E. And. And I'm going to put the Ormsby. It's not a Ormsby. In E as well. It's a, it's a Rick tune. I think that's a bit more fair. This is your list. People can get, get angry at you. Uh, this next one is also like, a, there's a lot of premium guitars on this list. Like loads of these guitars are really expensive. This is another expensive one. This is called, and I don't know how to pronounce it. The Teofel, Teofel, Birdfish. Birdfish. What is that? Um, Where is it? A bit of a car crash, kind of with some with some pickups and strings, I, I think. Where is it? <laughs> like, actually, where is it? I think the selling point was, like, the pickups are removable. Like, they just slot into, like, this bar behind it. And those, like, chunks of wood there can be... Those, Should be the bodies. They can be replaced. You can, like, change them out. And stuff. With what? With other bars of wood. Why? I don't know. They called them tone bars. I don't know. Tone bars. <laughs> Yeah, bleep this. <laughs> Where are we placing this beauty? What is the thing? like? By the way, it's like 15 grand or something ridiculous. It's very expensive. Does it cost extra if you want the rest of it? Like... <laughs> Where's the pickup selector switch? Is that what that is? That little thing hanging down at the bottom? Yeah. Oh, that's so awkward. <laughs> um... There's not a lot I can say to defend this one, I don't think. Oh, God. Where would you put it? I want to see if we're the same on this. I... It's a toss-up for me. It's an S and an A, I think. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look great. It just looks like a pile of rubble when it's smaller. Nobody would say that's a guitar. Well, someone in the comments is going to get angry about it, I'm sure. Someone probably has one. Sorry in advance, yeah. uh, Birdfish owners. The Rubble Caster. <laughs> the Rubble Caster. Okay, this <laughs> next one is also a ridiculously expensive guitar. I'm going to show you the budget version, which is about 10 grand. They go up to like 35. Okay. Oh, actually, no. Before I do, the classic. The Vintage Ugly. This is the Vox Teardrop. It said, We don't like pointy guitars. Let's avoid all angles altogether. What's the point? <laughs> the Roundy Caster. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> this is just us saying something caster on every guitar. Uh, Roundy can go in... Right. It's better than you. It's better than you. It's better than you. Who, are, who is you? <laughs> like all of them so far. Uh, I'm, I'm at sea right now. Hang on, so I'm at C. Better, I'm sorry, but better than the Butterfly and the Dorito. You, you would play that over the Butterfly and the Dorito. It's a hard choice. It really is. I'd personally take the Dorito over that. <laughs> I'm going to put it in... Uh, I'm going to put it in D. Hashtag Roundy Caster. Okay, now this is the next guitar that I was talking about. Super expensive. This is the budget one. About ten, eleven thousand dollars 11000 It's actually got cool specs. It's a shame... So do you. <laughs> also like me, it's a shame... That it's ugly. <laughs> um, oh, he's waving. Hey, it's like, remember when you used to go like, to, your, to your granny's house and she had that bowl of like the the blue glass like ornament things? 
Like the little balls. <laughs> the little little stone things. Yeah, okay. That's what this is. It's the it's the granny caster. <laughs> The Granny Caster. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, Yuli John Roth Sky Guitar. Um, it's very Joe Satriani looking to me. Well, do you know, it's it's got cool specs. It's got like 30 something frets on it and they're all scalloped. I was going to ask. I really like this. I don't think it's as ugly as the rest. I think you'll be surprised at what I say. Are you effing this? Yep. Well, no, like calm down there. I'm not <laughs> effing this. You're f tearing. I'm f tearing. yeah. I, I, I can Ooh. get with that. And you know what? I'm going to give you a hotter take whoa what's the hotter take and we could do with that because it's a very cold time of year it is that is the nicest guitar in the F bracket okay yeah yeah I can I can get beyond that you take that over the inferno if I was in a guitar shop I'd actually seek that out to play alright okay so that's the guitar you're going home with so far we've got three left on the list yeah let's see if we can change that opinion see Glenn I like BC Rich shapes now those are the pointy guitars I know you don't like them I think they make some really cool looking guitars. They've got the Mockingbird and the Warlock and the Iron Bird. The Warlock's cool. It is. Unfortunately, everyone gets a miss. That's like a Mockingbird and a Warlock. That reminds me of like a gazelle leaping kind of. Yeah. What is what is with the bottom? If you took the top half, you go, all right, all right we're, get, we're getting somewhere. The bottom half... I don't know. Well, see, that guitar is made for people who like to keep their legs together when they play. And you could just... <laughs> you could! That is the BC Rich Igniter. Or Igniter? Oh, Igniter. Yeah. Look, at the end of the day, it looks like a guitar. I think that's all it has going for it. It does... If you were to show this to a seven-year-old, they'd say that's a guitar. I mean, yeah, fair enough. If you were to show Patrick Starr that, you know, is working nights on Tier S, I don't think they'd say that that's a guitar. I think you'd have to censor it out. And ask it to wear clothes. Hmm. The Leapy Caster. <laughs> it's the puppy dog. Um, like it's a guitar. Look at look at the ones that are in F. They all look like guitars. I uh yeah I suppose. I'm going to. Or if you squint, yeah, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna take. Is it called a Steinberg? Yeah. I'm gonna take the Steinberg and put it in E. Oh okay. And I'm gonna put the. The Drunk McMars in F. All right. The Puppy Caster lives on. Yes. Glenn putting putting the BC Rich in the top tier. I, I never thought I'd see it. Now, this is a classic, and we've seen this on tier list before, Glenn. This will probably annoy people. The Prince of Caster. <laughs> I like you put the Prince A Caster. <laughs> you really, this is a missed opportunity if you don't point that headstock at the subscribe button. <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe, like and subscribe, subscrimbo, and, and you can... <laughs> subscrimbo? Is there a subscription caster? Um, this guitar, see, I, I put out on... Uh, a good reason to subscribe to the channel is that you'll see the community posts. Uh, I knew Glenn was coming over to do this, and I, I put out a community post and said... Um, what is the ugliest guitar ever, in your opinion? And the Prince guitar did get some, some, some mentions in the comments. So subscribe to to add to those comments. Well, you can hang your code on it as you play. You can play golf with it. See what this is? This is a roundy caster with just like a little. With an L. <laughs> it's a roundy caster with an L. <laughs> and an arrow. And an arrow. There's too much going on. There's there's far too many shapes. You actually almost forget that the fingerboard is purple because there's just two. That's, that's just a minimal little little detail. What I will say, I know this is a hot take, but I actually like the the gold against the purple. Well, that that's a royalty colors, isn't it? King a king yeah. wears purple with and gold. I, I like the truss rod cover. Yeah, the arrow on the arrow headstock. I could see that. All right, where are you, where are you putting it, Glenn? Um, where is he going? Uh, he's he's see this is one of the rare times where him actually looking like a guitar is not his saving grace <laughs> because he also looks like a golf club see I'd be I'd be a C or a B like your little toddler could sit on that as you play <laughs> I don't have a toddler <laughs> well get a toddler <laughs> you're either going to be shocked or you will totally agree there's going to be no in between alright it's not as horrendous as the S one so I'm going to put it in A because it does resemble a guitar Okay. But it's still... I would have put it in B, but I, I can put it in A. I could see that, but I'm going to put it in A. Actually, yeah, when you make it smaller, I would take the B Kramer over the over the Prince thing. Yeah, they're, they're not far apart, though. Right, we've only got one more, Glenn. 
no. Let's see if this shakes things up. I know you're going to be devastated. Because at the end, I'm going to ask you which out of the F tiers would you would you take home right now? That's your guitar, okay? Okay. Let's see if this changes your mind. I told you that there are three Kramers on this list. We've only shown you two. This is the Kramer R... The caster. R36. The Banana Caster. It's got 36 frets. It's, um... How do you sit down with that? It's very yellow. I think this was another one of those that you just kind of... I really like the inlays. Oh, yeah. I didn't even notice those because I was too busy looking at the, like, Woody Woodpecker's beak body. <laughs> and it's a seven string? Uh, yeah. I like the headstock. I like the... I really like the inlays. It reminds me of, like, dominoes. Yeah, the inlays are actually very cool. Hmm. Uh, however, the guitar is not. <laughs> It's got 36 frets, Glenn. Okay, it's better than the one in B. Okay. Oh, it's better than the one in C. Okay, this is the winning Kramer then. And I'm gonna say... I think this one belongs in D. In D? It does, yeah. Okay. Can I make one last change? Sure. It's your tier list. Can I swap the Roundy Caster and the Steinberg? Now, I... Okay. You're 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 raising the roundy caster. Yes. And you're saying the Steinberg is more ugly. Ah, okay. I think that looks right. Now it looks wrong, but I think nothing on this looks right. <laughs> now the yeah. real question is, Glenn. This is the guitar stock that we've got on sale, and you can walk out of this shop with one free of charge. You've got a gig tonight. You don't have a guitar. Which one are you picking? What tree do you think I'm torn between? The Paul Stanley Star. The Inferno Flamey thingamabob and the um I can't remember what we called it, the the, the granny caster. <laughs> uh yes, you would be right. Alright, let let's enlarge those for a second. Would you pick any of those? Would I? Yeah. I'll tell you what I would pick. I would pick I think I know what you'd pick. I think the the one there that looks closest in, in F. The one that looks closest to something you play is the Granny Caster. Do you know what? I'd probably actually take the Leaping Dog. The um, Would you? Yeah. I, I, Gr Granny Caster a close second, I'd say. I really like the Granny Caster. It's not functional to sit down with. But <laughs> I can't believe you put you put the teapot thumbs up in the same tier. Yeah, hmm, he has to move, I think. Oh, does he? Okay. <laughs> What's our final tier list, Glenn? Oh, no. Um, I'll say E. All right. So, which guitar are you going home with? Granny Caster? Granny Caster. Has to be. Granny Caster. All right. Leave in the comments below uh, which guitar you'd go home with. Um, that's the tier list of just ugly guitars. I'm sure we missed out on some other ugly guitars. There are a lot out there. But <laughs> this, this list would be a lot longer if we picked every single one. Yes. Make sure to uh, subscribe. Uh, subscribe to my channel subscribe to his channel and subscribe to the band channel because we play in a band together and uh, watch the other videos and like it if you liked it and, and all of the stuff anyway see you next time bye bye, -bye.